everyone, and welcome back to another chapter of From Ashes to a New Beginning. Written by me, Stacy Hull. Artwork was by Pastel Kitty Gore Art. As for my voice actors, Diz will be voicing Adrian and Cat Noir. I'll be voicing Marinette, Ladybug, and the narrator. Titanium Kitten will be voicing Plague and Luca. And Brooke will be voicing Alex. If you're enjoying this series so far, why not give a like, subscribe, and comment? Also, for all my voice actors who are making this possible, why not give their links a look? and give them your support as well. I'm sure they would appreciate it. Anyways, back to the story. Chapter 41, Hidden Secrets. What for? Alex said, turning to Luca. I, it's personal. Luca said simply. It's okay, Luca. You can say it here. Marinette smiled. Luca sighed and sat down on the bed beside Marinette and Alex. How are you feeling? Luca asked. <laughs> That's it? You were just going to ask her how she felt? Alex said, trying not to laugh. Well, I heard she wasn't feeling well. Luca started. I'm feeling... fine? Marinette said, unsure of what kind of answer he was looking for. Do you remember me? Luca leaned into her ear and quietly whispered. Marinette's eyes shot open, and she jolted backwards away from him out of pure shock that he would ask such a specific question. Does he know that she lost her memory? Who all knows? Marinette? Are you alright? What did he say? You look terrified. Alex said. Uh, oh, not at all. Um, Luca? The answer to your question is... Yes, of course. Why wouldn't I? Marinette smiled nervously. She knew it was bad to lie. She hated lying, but she had no idea who to trust besides Adrian. Adrian was the only one filling in the holes in her memory, besides the ones being filled in by her own mind momentarily. Adrian told her that Hawk Moth is still out there with Mayura. How could she be sure that Alex and Luca aren't Hawk Moth and Mayura? and they are checking on her to make sure she isn't remembering anything. I'll be right back. I'm gonna talk to Adrian. Luca said, getting up from the bed. Luca walked out of the room, feeling like he made Marinette feel worse than she probably already did. Marinette sat awkwardly in front of Alex, wondering what they were supposed to be talking about. Alex still didn't answer why she was there to begin with. Uh, so, why are you... What all do you remember? Alex interrupted her. Huh? What do you mean? Marinette said nervously. Spill it. I know you're remembering things. What all do you remember? Alex said, crossing her arms. Well, how can I trust you? Marinette said, crossing her arms in return. <laughs> trust me. What do you mean? Are you asking me to prove my loyalty as your friend? Alex laughed. Uh, well, no, but what if you're secretly here to get intel on me and hurt me and my family? Marinette said. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, what is going on inside that brain of yours? Did passing on that miracle box scramble your mind? Alex laughed. Wait, so you know about Miraculous and the Miracle Box? Wait, you knew I was the Guardian? Marinette said, looking at Alex. Stay back! I'm gonna get Cat Noir! You're not getting away this time, Mayura! Marinette said, scrambling to her feet. As Marinette tried to hurriedly get to her feet, her feet got tangled inside of the blankets she was sitting on. She tripped and fell off of the bed face planting onto the ground. Adrian and Luca walked back in and looked at Alex laughing as Marinette was laying on the floor almost in tears. Marinette, are you alright? Adrian said, running over to help her up. What happened in here, Alex? Luca asked. Well, when are you going to spill the beans, Chat Noir? Alex said, ignoring Luca's question. Adrian, Luca, and Marinette's eyes all widened, and they all turned to look at Alex. How did you know my identity? 
Adrian asked. Also, why would you just reveal it in front of Luca? So the younger Alex did get the rabbit miraculous after all. Ladybug never told him about Alex getting it. Strange. When did she even get it? How long had she had it? There was so much he didn't know about his lady. Oh, save that bluff for someone that can't see the future, Pussycat. I already know Luca knows. Alex said, smirking. So you have a miraculous then? Luca asked. Yeah, I do. You did when you were younger too, Snake Boy. Now, Marinette, are you going to answer my question? Or are you going to come up with more ridiculous accusations? Accusations? Adrian asked. She thought I was Mayura trying to get intel on her. Alex laughed. Everyone started to laugh as Marinette sat in a pout on the floor. Guys, stop! Marinette pouted, crossing her arms. <laughs> Sorry, it's just that... Alex helped Cat Noir and Ladybug fight Hawk Moth when we were younger. So, you accusing her of being Mayura is funny. Adrian laughed, extending his hand for Marinette to take. Marinette, I had the Rabbit Miraculous. You gave it to me. Alex smiled, reassuring her. Marinette sighed and took his hand, pulling herself up off of the floor. Everyone sat back on the bed and awaited to hear Marinette's answer. Luca? Earlier? I lied. I don't remember you. I was suspicious of you as well. Adrian told me you were my ex and good friend, but... I wasn't suspicious until you asked me about my memory loss, which apparently no one should know about except me, Adrian, Myura, and Hawk Moth, Marinette explained. I forgot to tell you that Luca knew my identity. It slipped my mind. Adrian started. Adrian, you really need to be more aware of your surroundings and not let things like that just slip your mind. Luca sighed. Why are you lecturing me? You're barely a superhero. Your cover was blown way before mine, and to Hawk Moth at that. Adrian pouted. Guys, now is not the time to argue. We need to figure out Marinette's situation. Alex groaned. Well, I remember bits and pieces of Cat Noir and Adrian. I saw Tiki and... Marinette started. All of a sudden, Marinette's hand flew to her head, and she closed her eyes as if she were in pain. Are you okay? Adrian asked, putting his hands on both of her shoulders to comfort her. My headache is back, Marinette said. Interesting. Alex said. What's going on? Luca said, turning to Alex. I need to go. I will do what I can without affecting the past, present, and future the best I can. I will try to find a solution to this." Alex said, standing up and leaving. Adrian and Luca watched Alex transform into Bunnix and hop into her burrow. Why did she even reveal who she was to me? Luca asked. No idea. She knows what to do and when to do it, I suppose. Adrian shrugged. Can I have some medicine for my headache, please? Yeah, I'll be right back. Just lay down. Don't push yourself. Adrian said, helping her lay down and laid the blankets over top of her. Luca got off of the bed to let Marinette lay down and leaned against the nearby wall, watching Adrian rush off to get medicine. So, there's not one single memory of me up there? Luca asked. Marinette turned to look at Luca and saw the hurt in his eyes. She desperately wanted to tell him there was but she couldn't remember anything with the sharp pain that was shooting through her head. I... I'm sorry, Luca. She said softly. That's okay. On the bright side, this gives me a restart, right? We can make more memories together. Luca smiled faintly. Marina looked over at him once again and gave him a soft smile. Before they knew it, 
Adrian returned with some medicine and some drink. He handed them to her and had her take it. Not long after she took the medicine, she fell asleep while Luca and Adrian sat on the end of the bed watching the TV. So what's the plan? Luca asked. Plan? You assume I have a plan? Adrian said, turning to look at Luca. You're Cat Noir. You're the Guardian. You need to come up with a plan. It's only a matter of time before Hawkmoth and Myra comatize someone else because they know you are down to only you. They know you're vulnerable. Luca said. I'm not vulnerable. I'm getting her memories back so she can help me. She knew what to do. All the time. Every time. I need her. Adrian said, glancing back to look at Marinette, who was sleeping soundly. And what if those few memories are the only ones that broke through? What if trying to make her remember is just hurting her? Those headaches aren't normal. Lucas said, seeing Adrian turn back to him. She is remembering. She will remember. Adrian said determined. Whatever you say, Agrest. Though, it's always good to have a plan B. Lucas said, turning his attention back to the TV. She's still my girlfriend. I heard you say you wanted to make new memories. And that's fine. I'm all right with that. Just make sure it's friend memories. Adrian said, not taking his eyes off of Luca to show that he was serious. I know, Adrian. I've known since high school that she was in love with you. It only took you dating Kagami and her dating me for you to finally see that. Luca smiled, though the smile he wore was not a happy one. It was hiding the hurt he felt inside. What are you talking about, Luca? Marinette said. Adrian and Luca both turned around and saw Marinette looking at them. Luca sighed and glanced over at Adrian. You dated me because at first, Adrian was dating Kagami. I broke up with you because I wasn't making you happy. I heard Adrian Kagami broke up, and I figured if I wasn't in the way, you would find a way back to him. Which you did. Luca sighed. Wait, you gave up being with Marinette because you heard Kagami and I broke up? Adrian said wide-eyed. What can I say? I'll do anything to make her happy, even sacrificing my own happiness. Luca forced a hurtful smile. Why trick us then? Adrian asked. Jealousy can make a person do many things. Once I saw what I was doing, what Kagami had become? I had to break us free from that before we lost you both. What we were planning would both hurt you in the end, and eventually crush our relationship if either of you found out. If a relationship was built on a lie, it wouldn't work out. Luca said, looking at Marinette. I'm sorry, Luca. Marinette said softly. I'm sure you don't remember any of that. If you somehow remember in the future, then I'm glad you heard it. If you don't remember, then I'm glad you heard it because you know the kind of person I am. Luca sighed. A liar and a... A kind, thoughtful, and sweet person. Marinette interrupted him, causing Adrian and Luca both to turn to look at Marinette. Marinette's determined face faded after a few seconds once she realized what she had said. Her hands flew to her mouth in realization. I'm so sorry. I don't know what came over me. I shouldn't have raised my voice. She apologized. No, it's all right. I'm glad the old you's still in there. He smiled. Like Adrian said before, you're remembering. Your memories are in there. I'm sure of it, or you wouldn't known that about me. Or she could just be saying that about the little speech you gave. Adrian groaned, crossing his arms. No, for some reason, those words just came out, Marinette said sincerely. Adrian didn't want her to remember Luca. He was afraid that her memories of Luca could overpower her feelings for him. What if she started to remember more of Luca and less of him? What if she dumped him for Luca after all? 
He had been through so much with her to give her up without a fight. Well, shouldn't we be heading downstairs to meet your dad like we said? Adrian said standing up. Already? Marina asked. Yeah, today is their last day here. Don't you want to spend time with them? Adrian asked. Marinette's eyes widened and nodded, glancing over at Luca. Luca gave a soft smile and stood up with Adrian. It's okay. I'll see you around, m m, -m Marinette. He laughed as he walked towards the door. Marinette smiled as the memory flooded in, remembering him doing that exact same thing to her back in high school. She also saw another memory of Luca, hugging her as she cried, and the same feeling overwhelmed her at that instant. Marinette felt tears start to overfill her eyes and fall down her cheeks as she watched Adrian follow Luca to the bedroom door. Adrian and Luca both turned their heads back to Marinette as they heard a sniffle and saw her crying. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, you can go check out some of my other videos like Thunderstorms, which is Season 1, Downpour, which is Season 2 of Thunderstorms, the butterfly that brought us together, and so on. But for now, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys!